I made a mistake. Let's talk about it. All right, first, so let's discuss uh, the mistake I made in the wind drift video. On that video, I assumed that the wind was always blowing 10 miles an hour on the arrow shaft. And uh, that's not exactly true, right? As the arrow starts to drift, the effective wind or the relative wind on the shaft is reduced. And so what we should do is we should consider what the reduction in velocity is. Wind speed minus the velocity of the arrow in the drift direction. So that'd be in the cross direction. This would have to be solved either by integration or in a stepwise manner to get an estimation of what that drift profile would look like. So that would look something like this. You would assume that the wind speed initially would be 10 for a small given amount of time. The initial velocity of the arrow A is zero. You can find your first delta X. And then you'll need to go in and you'll say, now my new wind speed relative to my arrow is reduced by a certain amount. So in, in doing this, we get a lot more reasonable numbers of the wind drift here. So it's 60 yards, and I actually had to increase to 20 mile per hour wind because it was a very small drift for 10 that uh, we couldn't distinguish much value. So in a 20 mile an hour wind, we're experiencing roughly eight inches at 60 yards for various shafts. You see, there's a, a small advantage to weight here, maybe 3% at most for the uh, 600 grain arrow over the 350 grain arrow, but not a huge advantage to weight. In fact, that's, that's probably unnoticeable. And that holds true for both um, three fletch and four fletch. The same analysis was for small diameter up to a standard diameter arrows. We still saw the improvement with the small diameter arrows of roughly 20%. Now, both those percentages were very close to what they originally were with the previous analysis, which is kind of to be expected. It's the same equations being used. The premise of that last wind video was to say, if I'm going to be shooting in the wind, I might consider shooting a smaller diameter arrow first, and then perhaps a little bit heavier arrow, but that has much less advantage than the small diameter shaft. So the shaft diameter is probably being the biggest advantage in wind over uh, mass of the arrow. I just briefly wanted to discuss that uh, mistake I had made there on the wind drift video. 